Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The big news, of course, is President Obama announced his executive orders with what? With gun control. You're going, yay, yes, didn't you know that the majority of people all favored it? Oh, and then 10 minutes later after they came out with that statement, they retracted it saying that, what was it? Hmm. That they did favor background checks. Slightly. Slightly. Could that be because the NRA favored background checks? Hmm. Might have something to do with it. And everything else is like, it, it, oh. And meanwhile, we're getting ready for, of course, the Sundance Film Festival. But besides that, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, if you listen to the press, it really is all over because the Obama has them on the run. And then, you know, of course, the problem is, is that only 48 Republicans side with Representative Bonyard in the, in the House of Representatives and 179 don't support him. Uh, that's not a divided party. The 49 that supports Bonyard and the president are the same people that supported the nomination of Mitt Romney, of which everybody knew. See, these are the guys that are totally firmly entrenched on spending money, no matter what. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if Obama sends them up something now, you know, and here's what they said. I love this one of the comedians last night. Uh, one of the left wingers said, he said, we can put, how much does the Bonyard support the President of the United States? If the President of the United States made a special appearance to the Capitol building, over to the House chambers, walked up in front of the podium, bent over and dropped his pants, the first one to kiss his butt would be the Speaker of the House. Mm -hmm. And a minute with Patty Smith on her photography show. What was that one? A minute with Patty Smith on her photography show. Oh, that one. I, I thought that was sort of a ridiculous thing right there. I thought I heard it twice. A minute. You know, okay, there, one minute you cannot do a photography. Yeah, actually, you can because we, we can do a thousand pictures. Well, weren't minute. they just talking about a minute? Um, I mean, they yeah. talked to her for a minute about her photography show? Uh, yeah, they're going to talk to her for a minute about her photographs, which I think is that. Well, remember, it's all. Uh, okay, remember how everybody wants everything long form? Now they want it all short form. In snack, snack bites. And they can't advertise as much in a short form as they can a long form. You know why? They can't figure out how to make a long form marketable. It's called, like they used to do it in television. You put commercials in the program, people will watch them, folks. Mm -hmm. Or they'll go to the toilet like they do in a TV show. It's the same difference. Okay, what's the difference between a computer screen and a television screen? Uh -huh. Nothing when you put a broadcast signal on it. And a man accused of Picasso vandalism to remain jailed. Oh yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Because it, 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 what happens is you got these loonies that basically hate hate anything uh, that be, uh, that is capitalistic, so they destroy. But they won't destroy something that their people create, which is the funny part about it. And Chicago rapper facing jail for parole violation. Yeah, because most, okay, what happens is if you're so this is where they're gonna get Lindsay Lohan, is because Lindsay Lohan has been told she can't do certain things. Is because it violates the parole, so she's going to end up going back and serving her full jail time before everything is over. And AMC crime drama, The Killing isn't dead after all. Yeah, it's dead. They told everybody the show wasn't being renewed about six months ago, and guess what happens when you tell people? Oh, this is... Oh, you mean, then everybody got excited because they were canceling it, and now it's back on? Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, here's Flea Obama, you know, maybe you can tell it's Flea Obama. He, uh... It's one of money what happens in Vegas really actually doesn't stay in Vegas. But uh, I did a thing for a while called Simon and Simon. I get to be, you know, I, I got to play bad people in it. Every year Simon and Simon was told they were canceled. So guess what happened at the end of every year? What? Most of the people other than the two main performers left the show. And then they would pick it up as a fill-in thing for the next season. I mean, it was just like for like five years. Every year for five years they did 13 episodes. Like it was a cable show. Today it would be a cable show. Today then it was just, you were the fill-in replacement for whatever got axed, you would fill in the hole. Well, every year they'd only two people, they had three people, Kathy Garvey and, uh, and the two main leads that would come back. The others are all went, they had to get her to work, folks. American Idol returns betting big on new judges. And it tanked, totally. Mm -hmm. It was down 19% over last year. I mean, first of all, no, no, nobody cares about Keith Urban, no one cares about that Minix, and no one really cares about uh, Mariah Carey. They're not, okay, they're not television. If you want to get people to watch TV, you have to get people that they know uh, from television. If they, okay, I mean, you want to go, okay, here's the difference. We went to see, in Las Vegas, we actually saw um, 
what was that female's name that we saw at the party? Um, uh, Which we, party? <laughs> no, the one party we went to, the big music, you know, the musical guest, um, which I don't remember. Sheila E? No. She, oh, she, Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys, yeah. Uh, okay, if you saw her during the TV commercials, you're seeing somebody totally different than the person that could the singer. The singer no longer has the vocal range that she did. So she would be someone you would book, you would book for a show like... Um, like American Idol because they know her from her TV commercials. Mm -hmm. Mariah Carey, they don't know from anything except for singing the same way as the other woman and Keith Urban, I mean, uh, you know, Nicole But they Pinkerson. know Mariah Carey, don't they? Uh, no, she doesn't do television. Oh, they knew her from singing. They knew her from singing, but they don't actually see her the same oh. as, as, as Keith Urban. They don't see him either because he doesn't make a lot of appearances on television. If you're not a television person, they turn in to see TV people on TV. They don't turn in. That was what the problem was. They could never get it through their heads why Dick Van Dyke Show could compete head to head with friends and beat them in the key demographic territory because people knew Dick Van Dyke. Oh. He, they'd grown up with Dick Van Dyke, so they were now the older enough to be the parents of the people over on Friends, but their kids were watching the Dick Van Dyke Show with them instead. What happened was, Friends cue, cue, cued earlier, cued, uh, uh, later in life, and Dick Van Dyke show for nine years head to head and got the young audience. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. And Nancy Pelosi defends a doctored photo of women in the new Congress. Oh God, yeah, they're trying to make it look like there were more minorities than the, they put the. Well, well, they, they scattered minority members all around, peppered it. Uh, along with, I think, a lot of staffers to make it look like the place where we, we have minority women and Republicans don't. Well, they didn't, actually. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. That's bad. House approves funding for Sandy insurance claim. Well, it's ridiculous, folks. They, um, they, they approved fifth, uh, $60 billion with funding knowing that, I think, $39 billion of it was pork projects. I mean, we're talking projects for Florida, projects for Southern California, projects for Nome, Alaska. You know, uh, they had nothing to do with Hurricane Sandy. The people are getting nothing. They, they're, they're not going to be able to rebuild their homes. They're not going to be able to rebuild the infrastructure. They're not going to be able to rebuild anything because of all the pork that was put in for everything else. Mm. And that's another one of those where they got 49, they got 48 uh, Republicans in Boehner. The Republicans said, oh, cut spending somewhere else. We'll give you the money, but cut spending somewhere else. Nope, because the president didn't want it done, and Boehner kisses the rear of the president now. Actually, Boehner and 48 Republicans now, if the president of the United States comes, they basically bow down and kiss his feet as they walk by. And Bloomberg Media need, needs to rethink gun violence coverage. Oh, yeah. They're basically, this morning, the news is Hollywood wholeheartedly approves all of the president's plans. No, they didn't because the head of the Motion Picture Association has already said we're not going to cut back. We're not going to be censored by the president of the United States or anybody else. Mm. Quentin Tarantino said, I'm not going to be censored. He said, he said here's what the, they said this morning. The people, you know, other than the, pre, the, the people that worship the grand president walks on, we'll just take our, we'll, we'll, put it, we'll put it this way, we'll take our goddamn product out of this country. We don't need you for anything anymore anyway. Nobody comes to the movies in this country. Right? That all our two thirds of our money is made out of the United States. We'll go to where they want us. And then you can watch the things the government approves of on your movie screens and TV sets here. So that's how much Hollywood loves the president is kind of stuff. <laughs> well no, it eliminates it basically he's after everything. I would have under this president's uh, um, doctrine I would have never, never been in westerns. I would have never been in war pictures. They don't fit into what he thinks is acceptable. And Spaceport wants protection from tourist lawsuits. Yeah, that basically killed the, the building of the space, of going up in uh, jets and uh, things now because of the fact that they're worried about litigation if somebody stubs a toe or gets sick or something. Well, here's part of it is, it, it's kind of like doing some of these other things. Is, that is not normal insurance. Normal. There is no insurance. To <laughs> There's cover. no insurance to cover that. And it finally dawned on them that people will go up for the specific purpose of suing them. Oh. Yeah, for no other purpose. They'll spend twenty million dollars so they can sue them for a hundred million. Oh. And so, isn't that neat? And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. It, you have to be careful about listening to what people say because often what they say doesn't even have a grain of truth in it anymore.